everything changes. It's already March 2019 and welcome to a new Best Unknown Indie Games. We've got some great new games for you. We've had to narrow some games off the list, but I still think it's a great list for anybody. So let's just head into the first one. Also, if you're new here, press the sub button. I really appreciate it. The first game, Lost Region. This game is being developed by Farm Studio, a little studio from the Ukraine. This third person open world survival action sandbox with combat, looting, crafting and building, leveling and diplomacy will bring you back to a world after civilization has a crisis. As always, you can join the group, you can be on your own, you can create your own faction. Build your base or capture it from the enemy. Create your own world, you can be proud loner or be a part of a great group. This game has a map of 46 square kilometers in it or 39 square miles. Every building in this world can be explored and there's a big building system in this game. You can set up a temporary camp for your loot or build a huge base, your personal faction. The combat system is designed for a more stealthy or fight for ambush. Attack on the forehead is not so original. You can use your friends to do the fighting for you or you can hire some NPCs to fight with you. But if you're a lone wolf you can also crouch your way past the enemies and use stealth as your new best friend. If this early in-game footage hasn't convinced you yet, you should go to their website because they have some great art on their website. And as you can see, you can do anything you want in this game. Build, loot, raid. So if you like DC combining with Rust, this game is something for you. I put the links down below so you can check out their Steam page and their websites and help. If you love those games, you should really check these out. Look in the description down below and give me a comment what you think of this game. I would really like to hear it from you. So the next game on the list is Valkanoid. I hope I pronounced that right. This game is being developed and published by the developers themselves. Valkanoid is a first person base building survival game set in a steampunk era. You take on an expedition to a forsaken island that you once called home, but a sudden eruption triggered by the mechanical race of being turned to a wondrous place into an apocalypse wasteland. In order to survive the island nature elements, you have out to outsmart these creatures and capture one of their drill ships. Use their own technology against them. This game got everything to be a real survival in a steampunk era. It got a mobile base, a deadly environment and mechanical menace. What is really going on on this island? Can you figure that out? Well you have to play the game to find everything out what's going on on this island. So head down the link down below and check it out. Game number 3 on the list is Generation Zero and it does a pretty good job pronouncing itself. Welcome to Sweden. It's November 14th, 1989, and you're about to get a closer look at the open world of Generation Zero. In Generation Zero, you play as a young adult returning from an island excursion together with friends. Upon reaching the mainland, you discover the world abandoned with no other people around. Worse yet, you find yourself hunted by a mysterious force of deadly machines. Now you need to find out what has happened, while at the same time trying to stay alive, and eventually wage a guerrilla war against the machine invaders. Generation Zero allows you to create a unique 80s hero and play on your own or together with up to three friends in seamless co-op. You will explore a beautiful but dangerous open world where you constantly need to keep a lookout for enemies roaming while trying to find the equipment to survive and fight. The machines come in many types, sizes, and variations, 
constantly challenging you in new ways using different weapons and sensory equipment. Wear them down and disable their systems by pinpointing and taking out armor parts and components. Seize the upper hand by utilizing stealth, group tactics, or special equipment to distract or confuse the enemies. Use these in combination with objects in your surroundings to create traps and ambushes, and turn a difficult fight into a winnable one. Should things go south, fleeing is a valid tactic. Since the machines are persistently simulated in the world, they will continue roaming if not killed. Whether you locate them minutes, hours, or days later, they will still bear the scars of your last encounter, waiting to finish the job. As you play Generation Zero, you will scour the open world for different weapons and upgrade your favorites with attachments like scopes and silencers. Take down powerful machines without damaging their parts, then scavenge those same components and use them to augment your weapons with high-tech enhancements. This will come in handy when fighting in different conditions. The dynamic day-night cycle and weather systems will not only impact your senses, but also the enemies, making for constantly evolving battles. You are free to explore the world at any pace and direction. And if you look closely, the world will tell the story of what has happened. The pieces of the puzzle are there for you to discover and figure out. Just remember that some answers come harder than others. If you like Generation Zero, check out the links down below because they got some great more content on their website. Next on the list is Stranded Sales. This game is being developed by Lemon Bomb Entertainment and being published by Roca Publish. It's going to be released on Steam. This game is for all you farmers out there. If you like Zelda, if you like Stardew Valley, this game is for you. Explore the mysterious island and find your way off it. You join your father on his expedition vessel to discover new shores. But disaster strikes along with your fearless crew, you are shipwrecked on a mysterious exotic island. You need to take care of all the survivors. You are going to embark on an exciting adventure full of amazing discoveries, quests and puzzles and an almost impossible goal. Your initial goal is to survive, set up a camp and get enough resources for everybody. But in the end you want to get off the island. So check out the link down below and go explore this game. We are slowly getting to the end of this video. The last game on the list is Filmon. It being developed by Wild Rivers and published by Zyrex. It's going to be available on Steam, PlayStation and the Nintendo Switch. Fimbol is an action adventure game combining intense Viking battles with a deep story that unfolds through the in-game comics. It will bring the frozen world of the Norse saga to life. This game has a complicated storyline, navigate your choices to go to any intersection and follow a different path through the story. The fighting system in this game is rather unique. Fight the Vikings using a complex but easy to learn weapon based combat system and gather fellow Vikings to help and defeat the trolls the sizes of trees. If you like a story driven combat fighting system then this game is really something for you, you should check out the links down below. And this brings us to the end of the episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. And if you got any comments on the games I've shown you. Or if you would like to know anything more about the games. Put it in the comment down below. And if you haven't already. Push the subscribe button. Push the little bell. So you get notification when I bring up the next edition of the best unknown indie games. Or any other video indie related. So you should never miss something of the great indie games that are out there. Thank you all for watching. My name is Mentorius and see you all next video.